What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we are starting a new show, one I am very, very excited about. We are doing Ninja Can We, episode one. Before we get into anything, for those of you who don't know, with the first and last season of every show that we do on the channel, the full-length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So it should be in the top of the description. Click that. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you can, if you like that format, consider keeping the Patreon, checking it out. It is a vibe. We also are live on Twitch watching this as well as all other reactions these days. So come on over to the Twitch, leave a follow, hang out. Like I said, always a vibe. Check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. I'm not going to waste any more time. Ninja Kamui, episode one. All right, here we go. Starting off on what looks to be a, a subway. Looks like we're in New York, just based off the graffiti and the quality of the subway, but I have no idea where, where this takes place at all. That guy was extremely sweaty on the train, super nervous. I'm already loving the, the lighting, how it's like very red and blue heavy. Very much reminds me of JJK, Choso and uh, Yuji. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Why are we starting off so hot? My man who I thought was gonna be a scaredy victim and just die. Putting in the work. We're chopping heads off. He just caught a dagger to the fucking neck, his back. Ah, so far the core up. That guy looks design-wise insane. Looks like it should be in like cyberpunk. This choreography is going insane. Uh huh. So, very modern take on ninjas with the amount of tools, the technology they have. And they have certain targets they need to eliminate. And they got that shit handled. As we pan out to a bird's eye view of the city. What the fuck? Is this in the future? Is this now? Is this Japan? Where? What the? What sort of cold opening was that? As we go immediately from the bloodiest start to an episode I've probably ever seen to a cornfield. Instead of Texaco, it said Toxico. How are we going to go from such a bloody start to such a cute family? Is that Kenji Rosuda? I can't really tell. I've heard it was, but I really can't tell. They already have a funny. Directed by Sanghu Park, who I've heard is a legend. That's a fat cat. So far, this is a, a, a very lovely family. Beautiful wife, hard-working farm husband, cute little boy. So the murder itself, they didn't take the body or anything, dispose of it. They just left it there. It's broadcasted. I wonder if they're both of them or either of them or Mari are involved in the gang. Not the gang, but the game. I wonder if it's like a John Wick situation. The Reaper. Now I'm definitely curious. So they both seem to be at some point into the assassination ninja business whatever that may be but supposedly they retired he's wiping his prints from anything he touches that man's a cautious man i respect it they're living a simple life with a beautiful family with a fat ass cat on a farm okay kenji rosuda being the voice actor for one of the main characters is going to be super hype He's got cameras. He's checking the perimeter at night before he goes to bed. Yeah. 
So it's seeming less of John Wick where he retired officially and people are cool with that. Or maybe he pulled the Thors from Vinland Saga and like ran away from the game and is worried one day they'll still come after him. Bro, imagine something happens to them on his birthday. At least wait till the day after. You gotta have some char on there, you know? Happy birthday. Triger. I wonder if that's like an anime he likes. He did have the Triger poster in his room. This man is got a motorcycle. He's a corn farmer. And he man's a multi-talented individual. Man, I got a 3DS with a Triger helmet. It truly is not a good sign that they're this happy and of such a beautiful family <laughs> with how with the things going on, but it does make me a little nervous. I love the way this lighting is shot. I love the red and blue. I love the saturation and the color choice, but from a story perspective, the no hesitation okay we're getting right into it they did find him okay <laughs> snapped his arm beautiful kicks oh my god not just yourself you have to be worried about right now the animation the choreography the cinematic shots like following a character right behind his head Amazing so far. What the hell? Is that the Reaper in the car? Oh, see, like I said, I love the direction of choice. Having the red be like the main light peering through. Oh, no. She was able to take out that many of them in there. Oh my god. Got the needles sticking out of his throat, a sword in his back. He's still walking with. Oh my god. As it's playing that beautiful song from earlier. What the f is wrong with this show? Didn't have time to chop off his head like they normally would. They just, because the cops are coming, that's why they just checked his pulse, make sure he was dead and dipped. That is brutal. With the blood splattered on the Traeger poster, that is horrible. So he's at the morgue. He's not dead. They assumed he was dead. I want to know more about the technology and their goal. Like, I need, yeah, world building is definitely something I need to learn more about. Yeah, I would 100% throw up if that's the last thing I remember from that. Oh, that is horrible. Logan -san. Logan -san. Mr. Logan. If, if my assumptions are correct and this guy was a retired ninja, they just made the worst mistake of their life. They clearly have not seen Vinland Saga. They clearly have not seen John Wick. I want to know, are these guys FBI? I was wondering, are they on the good side, the bad side? I wonder if he recognized that guy who stabbed his wife in the throat. Is that the Reaper or is that someone new? What's, I need more world building. I really do. Mike Morris, Emma was her name. He could tell from his reaction. Oh, it was a great choice having Kenji Rosuda be the main voice actor for this. What the fuck? Right back into it? 
grab that sword. Oh my god. Multiple heads being shot. My man knows ninjutsu? He is the fucking reaper. He's the shadow. He knocks her out so she doesn't have to one witness it or two she's not in danger. Oh, oh, I love this shot. It's just him slowly, casually walking, chopping heads and arms off. Music's kind of going crazy, too. Oh, this this show is going to be fantastic. With the muffled sounds as he chops a dude in two and I love the POV shot from his first person. Oh, it's him. Bro, you fucked up so bad. They had to give us another flashback. You doing it. He had to remind himself how much you're about to die. That was clean. He's got a big ass sword. Pause. Ooh, cuts the wire collar. This cinematography is fantastic. I love when they hit their swords that like flashes the black. He turns into this fucking shade again. Shadows. I thought this was going to be like the main villain we try to get revenge on throughout the entire show. Well, that's what like the things he saw on his son and his wife were. They were a visual mask changer. Change your appearance. Let's, what's the technology level in this fucking world? What the fuck is going on? I don't know whether to feel depressed for him, which I definitely do, or my heart's like fucking racing because of how fucking crazy that was. This is literally John Wick. Going back to the crib, gotta <laughs> have something buried deep. Pull out that you never thought you'd be pulling out again, but you saved just in case. Oh, that mask looks sick. And it very much resembles that Oni mask that his son had. So it's like a he's having a visual memory of what they actually look like underneath all that. I like that. I did not know they physically changed their appearance like that. The music is very well selected in the show so far. Gotta burn down everything. The memories pain the evidence so this is gonna be our main character huh i'm ready this was a good start to this show burns down the triger mask the oni mask Ooh, as he puts his mask on <laughs> i got goosebumps right now they don't know who they just brought back into the fucking into the fold. Take me to tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I said it during the episode, but I don't know whether to feel depressed because of the amount of darkness and sadness my man just went through or to feel hyped beyond recognition because of the things that were gonna see. for a first episode. It could have just had that fight at the beginning, and I would be like, okay, and then set up the premise. I'd be like, okay, but it had like three or four really high quality fights. The animation is looking crisp. The music, fantastic choice of songs for a very what feels like a metal, feels like a rock, feels like a death. Like, like the song at the end there says, "Vengeance is the way," or some "Revenge is the only way," something like that. God damn, my main man. I still don't even know. I said, Mister Logan. I don't know if I got his first name earlier, but his wife and his son got viciously murdered. I am very glad at least the guy who stabbed through her neck, we already got vengeance for. I thought he was going to be like a long term villain that we were going to have to chase down and get. But nope. the only thing I'm wondering is who was in the car and how did they find out where he was? Because not only did he change his location, obviously he ran away and hit a very quiet life, but he changed his appearance very much. He looked nothing like his 
disguise. So, oh, him playing that guitar, singing that song, to thinking back to those moments with what they actually look like, and him just living like that's crazy. Like I, this is gonna be during editing. It's gonna be hectic in this for sure. Like that was a great first episode, very dark. I completely understand why it's TVMA. I completely understand why it's uh, on Adult Swim. I am very excited for this, especially with the director being the director from JJK, stuff like that. You can already tell the choreography and the fights are going to be top notch. Like, it's very fast and very flashy. But if you even slow it down and look, that man is hitting precision stabs, precision cuts, cutting off the... Ooh, and just the directorial cinematography, whether it be the red and the blue light contrasting each other, whether it be going from certain shots panning out to a bird's eye view, whether it's the first person perspective view, like there's a lot that's gonna be really in depth with this. And I'm thoroughly excited about it. That was the, that was the, you got me officially hooked. I'm in there, I'm hooked in. Um, Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I don't even know what to say, subscribe. Click that like button. To let me know your thoughts down below. We're live on Twitch, always watching these. Um, I'm doing this on Monday right now, but this is going to come out on Saturdays at midnight. So essentially Sunday. So I'm probably going to have this be a Sunday thing. So I don't know how I'm going to do that in terms of the stream schedule. I might just save it till Monday every time, but that's besides the point. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Tell someone you love them. Drink some water. Protect your wife and son or your husband and whatever. Protect your loved ones. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.